Hello everyone, I am Arun Jyoti. I hope you all are fine. Today we are going to continue chapter 3rd, Synthetic Fiber and Plastic. In the previous video, we learned about synthetic fiber and types of synthetic fiber in detail. After these topics, there is a activity 3.1 on your notebooks or books. Let's understand in detail. In this activity, we compare the tensile strength of different fiber like cotton, wool, silk and nylon. First of all, we will come to know about tensile strength. Tensile strength is the ability of fiber to be stretched or pulled without breaking. After understanding the word tensile strength, let's perform activity. For this activity, we need iron stand with a clamp. Different fiber threads, cotton, wool, silk and nylon. The length of all the fiber threads same and same thickness. Tie the fiber threads one by one to the clamp and free and suspended a pen so that weights can be placed into it. Add weight one by one till the thread breaks. Note down the weight required to break the different thread like cotton, wool, silk and nylon. For this activity you will observe nylon thread has maximum tensile strength as compared to other. For better understanding, link of this activity is given in the description box. Let's proceed with the next topic, plastic. Plastic is also a polymer like the synthetic fiber. All plastics do not have the same type of arrangements of units. In some, it is linear, means line wise, whereas in other, it is a cross-linked arrangement. Plastic articles are available in all possible shapes and sizes. Plastic can be recycled, reused, recolored, melted, rolled into sheets or made into wire. Some example of plastic articles are bucket, plastic chair, plastic table, mug, bottle, and wire etc. Other example of plastic is polythene. Polythene means poly plus ethene. What is a ethene? Ethene having chemical formula C2H4 means they having two carbon components and four hydrogen components. Means many units of ethene combined to form polythene. It is used for polythene bags. Now next we will discuss types of plastic. There are two types of plastic. First one is thermoplastic and second one is thermosetting plastic. Now let us discuss in detail thermoplastic. You will observe that some plastic can bend and break easily when force is applied on it. When we add hot water to plastic bottle, it get deformed. Such plastic which get deformed easily on heating and can be bent easily are known as a thermoplastic. Thermoplastic materials soften when heated and harden when cooled they can be made soft or hard again and again now polythene and pvc pvc means polyvinyl chloride again pvc means polyvinyl chloride are thermoplastic polymers usually linear arrangement they are used for manufacturing toys combs, plastic container and wires. Now second one is a thermosetting plastic. 
इट इज द प्लास्टिक विच वेन मोल्डेड वंस कैन नॉट बी सॉफ्टेड बाय हीटिंग मीन्स वंस द प्लास्टिक विल अटेन दियर शेप वी विल नॉट बी चेंज द शेप ऑफ द प्लास्टिक वाइल हीटिंग सो थर्मोसेटिंग पॉलीमर्स हैव क्रोस्ड लिंक अरेजमेंट लाइक बैकेलाइट्स एंड मेलेमाइन बैकेलाइट इज ए पुअर कंडक्टर ऑफ हीट एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो इट इज यूज फॉर मेकिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल स्विचेस हैंडल्स ऑफ वेरियस यूटेंसिल्स अदर एग्जाम्पल इज मेलेमाइन इज ए वर्ट वर्सेटाइल मटीरियल इट रिसिस्ट फायर रिसिस्ट मीन्स अपोज इट रिसिस्ट फायर एंड कैन टॉलरेट हीट बैटर देन अदर प्लास्टिक इट इज यूज फॉर मेकिंग फ्लोर टाइल्स किचन वियर्स एंड फैब्रिक्स विच रिसिस्ट फायर नाउ लेट इज प्रोसीड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द प्लास्टिक्स first property is plastic is non reactive you know the metals like iron get rusted when left exposed to moisture and air but plastic do not react with water and air they are not corrode easily that is why they are used to store food item water milk pickle dry fruit and many chemicals second one is plastic is very soft strong durable and can be molded into different shapes and size plastics are generally cheaper than metals so they are widely used in industry and for household articles plastics are poor conductor of electricity and the heat that is why electric wires have plastic covering and handles of screw drivers are made up of plastics plastic find extensive use in healthcare industry some example of their use are packaging of tablets thread used for stitching wounds syringes doctors gloves and a number of medical instruments next one special plastic cookware is used in microwave ovens for cooking food in microwaves ovens the heat cook the food but do not affect the plastic vessels now next we will discuss about plastic and the environment in this topic we will discuss what is the effect of plastic on environment we know very well plastic takes several year to decompose it is not environment friendly it cause environmental pollution in the process of burning of plastic it release lots of poisoning gases into the atmosphere causing air pollution to avoid this problem we should collected the biodegradable and no non biodegradable wastes in the separate bin now what is a biodegradable and non biodegradable materials a material which get decomposed through natural process such as action by bacteria is called biodegradable material for example peels of vegetables and fruits paper wood cotton clothes etc then non biodegradable materials which is not decomposed by natural process is termed as non biodegradable for example tin aluminium metal cans and plastic plastic takes several years to decompose so students we have to avoid to use the plastic as a responsible citizen remember the 5r principle what is 5r 5r means reduce reuse recycle recover 
and refuse and what is the meaning of these five are principal that is reduce means use steel lunch box instead of plastic reuse use plastic bottles for planting small plants recycle make plastic bottle cups to house pen holder recover to convert waste into resources such as electricity heat and fuel refuse say no use of single plastic product to clean the environment do not throw plastic bags in the water body or on the road take a cotton carry bag or a ute bag while going for shopping try to minimize the use of plastic material for example use a steel bottle instead of plastic bottle and at the same time minimize the environmental hazard for the living communities students in this chapter we learnt fibers synthetic fiber types of synthetic fiber plastic types of plastic properties of plastic and effect of the plastic on the environment and how to minimize the effect of plastic on the environment now students make a poster on behalf of awareness among the resident of the society about impact of polythene bags and suggest their alternates then make a report on eco friendly or green fiber fabrics on your notebooks for the back exercise question answer link is given in the description box thanks and stay safe at home